All right, today's video is gonna be sponsored by PCBWay. More on them later. Okay, this right here is a battery that comes from EV West. You can buy this battery at evwest.com. And it looks like this. This battery is pretty cool because it's 13S, which is 48 volts, right? The cool thing about this is that it's got very, very powerful cells, the INR20R cells. The problem, that it doesn't have a BMS. And so you can't really use it without a BMS. Well, I mean, you could use it, but you would fall into problems, right? So it's not easy. You'd have to like cut these cables, figure out what connector this is, all sorts of stuff. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to make a little PCB board that will allow you to connect this very, very easily in there. So let's go to the drawing board or the drawing program in the computer. All right, so I've done quite a bit of of these videos where I show you how to like draw a PCB and how to start, right? So we are, I'm, so I'm gonna be quick about this, right? So I'm gonna start here. You first start with a outline and the way you get this outline of what your board needs to be is just by looking at your battery and what you're gonna need. You just take your calipers out and you just measure the battery. And then after that, then you start adding like the holes wherever you're gonna need to put stuff, right? Like in this case right here, it's gonna be a good place for a connector. Then here's another one, another pad right here with the holes where you're gonna put the cables. Uh, here's the other ones right here. And then, then you start laying your traces and these are the copper. This is the sections of copper that are gonna be there so that it's gonna conduct the electricity from one place to the other, right? And so of course, this connectors right here is gonna take all of these traces and then they're gonna connect them over here. But as you can see, it's only every other one. And the reason why that is, is because, well, the battery has two connectors and one connector has just every other balance lead. And then the other connector has the other one. Now, because of the way that this is built here, you're not gonna be able to do that um, well on the same side, right? And so the reason, this is why you only see half of them. The other half is gonna be on the bottom side of the copper traces. So these ones right here, if you delete this one, now this is the other connector and it's the other balance leads, right? And so when you turn both layers, then you get to see that they're both in there. And I'm trying to keep this area where this goes, right? Where these leads go or these pads or these traces go uh, as small as, as possible, right? Um, just big enough so that you can have enough of like a room in between them, right? Like just the isolating stuff, but as small as possible because if the smaller they are, the less it takes from these big pads that will carry all the current. Because remember, this has to carry all the current from the battery. And we're talking about 100 amps, 50 to 100 amps that this board is designed to do with the BMS. Next thing, what you're gonna have to do is just top silk layer. So the reason why it's called silk is because it's a silk screen and it allows you to put text and markings and other identifying things that you might want to do in there. Some design, you know, stuff like that. So all the text is done on this layer right here. And there's also a bottom one. The bottom one, apparently we don't have anything because I'm not gonna, there's nothing to do in the bottom. So yeah, so then this is the version 1.2. It has all the changes. We, we have gone through another uh, earlier iteration of this, but I'm not even gonna show it to you because it doesn't make sense. Uh, but there you go. See, all of these connectors here are marked, the green and the blacks, and then these connectors are different pins. So that'll help you to uh, realize or you know identify where that connector from the battery, where it goes where, uh, and then which way, because we're not putting the actual uh, socket connector in here. We're just putting pins right at least on my design that's what i'm doing with mine if you're able to find that connector and the the right serial number or whatever and then you find the socket connector then you can put it in here uh and it'll be fine and then you're basically physically are going to be able to unable to connect it wrong now the way that i'm doing it with just some pins in there you could make a mistake here and so the that's the reason why i'm i'm going the extra mile and just putting all these marks in here like this connector uh, the black wire goes on this side and the green wire goes on that side and the same thing with this one, right? But then once you do that and then you solder your BMS in here and, uh, and again, it's, it's compatible with two types of BMS, the Dali one and then like another off-brand one. 
uh, this is what these pads are for, for the one BMS. And then the Dali one, we will use this one right here and then another one over here, or I think this one. Maybe this one, no, this is the wire one. This one right here, yeah, you'll use this one right here. Once you do that, then you can see this board on a 3D render. And then this 3D render tells you pretty much what the board is gonna look like. Now here, you could do more things like maybe like round the edges here. I don't usually like just sharp edges like this on boards. But on this one, because it's gonna be, uh, you know, it's such a simple board, I just didn't, didn't take the time to do it. Um, then here you can choose all kinds of other stuff, you know, like the color, right? If you wanna do it in red or whatever, the thickness, all those stuff. Uh, and then once you do that, then you just upload this file to PCBWay and then you order it. Now we've done all that for you. And now you just follow the link in this video and then click on there and you can buy it directly there or you could download the file and then order it in whatever other uh, PCB maker in China or in the United States or anywhere in the world actually that you might want to, right? Uh, and so this is how this board was made. It's just a quick little run through of my design process. All right, so now that we have our board, right? We've ordered it and now we populated it with a BMS and two connectors here. Now it's very easy to install. You have to do is just take this connector out of here. You put it in there. You put standoffs in here and you connect it. And then you connect these two cables in here. And it's got, it's labeled with the colors of the cables as we did before, right? The black. So the black goes right here. Yeah, it says green right here and it says black over here. So you connect it like that. And then we get the other connector and it's the same thing, black and yellow. So you connect those two in here, you put the two screws and now you have a battery that you can use. The, there's gonna be power here and you can load it up. This BMS right here is only 30 amps, but it, uh, 50 amps. But if you load it up, there's two connectors in here. So that means you can put another BMS. I've already built one like this. You see that? Two BMSs. So now you should be able to get 100 amps off of this connectors right here when you install that in there. All right, so here what you're looking at is two battery packs. And this has the 1.1 version of this board, right? This worked out and everything was good except for the fact that it would only work with this BMS, which is a very popular BMS, it's called DALI, right? And this one will do, how many amps does it say here? Oh, it says 50 amps also, right? So if you wanted to add a second one to do 100 amps, then I didn't put the connector in here. So that's why I ended up doing the version 1.2. 1.2 now has dual set of uh, these green connectors. So now you can put stack multiple of these uh, BMSs. You can put two of those, or you can put two of these. Also, the version two allows you to use this one right here that is a lot, I think it's more affordable, this BMS. Uh, the only problem is that it doesn't have a temperature sensor, out external temperature sensor, which this one does, right? And then you can use that and put it in there and then have it, uh, well, have it uh, monitor your cells. If the cells get too hot, then this one will step in and it'll cut it. This one won't. But this one is a lot cheaper, so you can stack two of them for about probably about the same price, and then you can get 100 amps off of these cells. Now, these cells are very, very powerful. They can do like 200, 300 amps or something like that. It's pretty crazy. Uh, the other thing that I did is just kind of modified a little bit the the cables, how they, they were. Uh, I ended up putting the main uh, connector over here on this side, as opposed to on this side, uh, and then putting these uh, connectors over here because it's just a lot more clear. Over here, there's more chance of you, you know, like making a mistake and stuff. And so those are just like little iterations that I made, that I changes that I made into the between the first version of this board to the second version of this board. But everything else works basically the same way. All right, so that's how that project works. Now, if for some reason you are not familiar with what I do here, these projects are all open source, which means that I make the designs and I upload them to the sponsor of this video, which is PCBWay. And then you can go and download those files there. You can buy the boards directly on their website. Uh, I also might make this available on my website, but because I don't carry these batteries, that probably is not gonna happen with this project. A lot of the projects I do, 
but not particularly this one. So if you need this uh, to buy this battery and you want to do a quick, easy BMS setup, then you can order this, this board and there's a link to all the components and all the parts that I use to complete this project, right? And obviously you get for the best price because uh, then you remove me from the middle of those transactions. You just go directly to that website where I buy them and then you buy it there, right? And so I hope this helps you build a battery. The, this battery right here is very good for like a high performance like e-bike sort of like this one that's back here because it's 48 volts and it could do like hundreds of amps. And so it very easily you can do your own, you know, DIY 100 amp BMS, which is quite a bit of power for a DIY e-bike, right? So there you go. This, if you want to buy this battery, there's going to be a link to this to evwest.com. If you want to buy the things, there's going to be a PCB way, uh, a link to PCB way where you can buy this stuff. It's open source. There you go. So thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.